Okay guys, I've got something a little bit special for all of you. Uh, today I am showing you the very last painting I've been bringing into the house for 2024. I had decided to join a group. I will just go into it really, really quickly for you. I've got a couple of details here. It's called the Diamond Painting Smashdown or Stashdown 2024. It's run by Spirit of Diamond Painting. Her name's Erica. She is going to be doing the majority of it on uh, Face, no, not Facebook, sorry, Instagram. Uh, and the way that you do it is you tally up all your paintings in your stash and it goes by the, the longest side of the canvas. So anything below 40 centimeters is 25.25 points, 40 to 50 is 0.5, 50 to 60 is 0 0.75, 60 and above is one point. And again, follow her on uh, sorry, follow her on Instagram. She will be putting up a Google form starting the first of each month, going till the fifth. So the first form will go up on March 1st. And the hashtag is hashtag DP stash down 2024. Make sure you tag her in all your posts. She does want a beginning post and an end post done. And double dipping is okay. So if there's another event that uh, um, will, could use your painting, uh, as long as they don't mind that you're double dipping, she doesn't mind that you're double dipping. If you have any other questions, please be free to... Uh, message her and ask to your heart's content. I will leave, leave a link of her, both of her Instagram and her um, other YouTube channel down below just so that you can make sure you're super clear. It is February 2nd today so that it actually started on this on the 1st but I wasn't able to get it done on the 1st. So now let's get into the very last painting I brought into my house and I'm not kidding so She's got a way that you can actually, after you've gained so many points, you, if you are just dying to buy a certain diamond painting, there is a way to do it. I'm hoping that I'm going to stay clear from that. And I'm just going to like zoop down my stash. That's the way I'm doing it. So the painting I'm working with today is Out of Control by Richard Lorenz. I just love his paintings. Aren't they just so cute? This one actually says Out of Control, and I mean, look at him. He does look a little out of control. It's 57 colors in total. Four of those are AB, and one of them is that uh, fuzzy diamond. I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> Fairy dust? Fairy dust. I think they're called fairy dust. So I do have the small sticker and the large sticker. And I will show you the painting in just a minute. I'm going to stick these off to the side. I'm going to put the drills off to the side. I did also pick up, I had free points. And honestly, you guys, this painting cost me 20 cents. <laughs> I had to pay the shipping and then I had some money sitting in my PayPal. So it ended up being that I had to pay 20 cents. So I got a eight tip and a five tip and I'll explain that in a little bit. Right now I just wanna see what they put in the diamond kit because of course that's always super fun. So you get your boat with your lid, two plates of heart-shaped wax. Um, this time it's a purpley pink kind of pen. You get your four and seven placer, which are always handy. I use them like all the time. Uh, you do get a squeegee for your pen and then you do get your bags to work out of if you decide that you don't want to kit up, which some people don't. All the more power to you. I like mine kitted. And then here is my cover minder. It's a, just a little pink shell. It looks like it's got some glitter on it and I think it's so adorable. I love looking at the color minders that you get sent. And then the washi tape is just kind of a flower design. Sort of an abstract. Blues, reds, pinks, yellows. Nothing too too special but it is pretty. And I'm going to just stick those all back in to here. And move 
those off to the side. Now with regards to the double placers, I did just have enough of my points to get them. I did get the eight and the five and I was thinking I usually use the four and the seven, the ones that come with it. Um, I do have some other metal tipped diamond painting or metal tipped placers that I use as well. But I just wanted something that was in between before I go crazy and buy a whole bunch more. And as far as I know, um, accessories are not considered diamond paintings. <laughs> They're not considered adding to the stash. So I got the five, I usually use a four, I got the five, I usually use a seven, I got the eight. And then, like I said, there will be many more to come if I really, really like these. Um, I did have one here. It's not the right size, but I just wanted to show you the depth. My ring's all backwards. Don't mind that, you guys. So take a look at how much more thin, like just the depth itself is like half as tall. Do you guys see that? It is super, super short. So I have high hopes for that. But then also when I lifted them up, and these are one of my favorite um, diamond painter metal tipped pens. But take a look at how skinny that is in comparison. So I'm really, really curious to see. And it's the same thing. Both of them are the same. That's the length. That's how much shorter they are, and that's how much skinnier they are. That's crazy. So yeah, super, super curious to see how those stand up. Just putting back my other ones. Oops, whoa, not knocking over lights. Okay. I absolutely would go back and get the rest of them if I knew. I just didn't want to buy like a 10 placer, which I, I do want a 10 placer, but I didn't want to buy a 10 placer and then find out that there's something wonky with it that makes it a little bit harder to use. So I thought these were a good compromise so far as finding out if I'm going to like them. I was trying to be responsible. Just moving those off to the side. Now, let us look at Richard Lorenz in all his glory. Oh, you guys. I don't know. I have a really soft spot for Richard Lorenz bird paintings. I don't know. I just think... They make me laugh, they make me smile, they just, ah. Uh. Anyways, I have a couple of them now, and yeah, I I really hope he comes out with more. He's, he's very, very talented. Okay, so drill field looks really, really clear. There is some confetti in this, I'm not gonna lie. But there is also some areas that are color blocking um, for sure. I will tell you the uh, fairy dust painting that seems to be this section in through here. And then if we just take a look, number one, I did see some number ones kind of up here. Um, I don't see a lot of them, but that doesn't mean that there isn't a lot more that I'm just not seeing. But I see one there. Number two is kind of like a greeny color and I do see a little bit in through there. I also see some in through this eye. And three is an orange and I see lots of it right in through here, this section here. And the white one is just kind of like the bubbles or I don't even know what you would call them. Maybe they'll they'll look like something different in through both of the eyes and then at the bottom on the out of control I definitely see it there. Now again that's not to say that there isn't more um, but those were the ones that did stand out 
for me. And just take a quick, nice and sticky. And then I'm not going to open the package of uh, drills, but I will show you lots of black. Looks like some tan. Um, I do see the white A, B, and through there. But yeah, so I mean, Diamond Art Club generally has fairly good drills, so I'm not going to open up the whole pack and get it going and not be able to put it back together without. Uh, they do label them too. I actually like that. If I wasn't t keeping them together, um, it would be easy to find them. I don't know how you keep your diamond paintings together, but I usually just keep them in the box until I'm about to do them. But there you have it. My last addition to my household. I, I feel very, very strongly in saying that. It is so hard because there's always new kits coming out and there's always new things that just catch your eye. They can't help it. But I'm really, really going to try hard. I mean, honestly, financial reasons. With the, I know our household, you know, it, things are tough for us. I can only imagine how um, they must be tough for you. And I think this was just a way that I could contribute to not having as much of an income and um, still doing what I love without adding to it. I just don't think there's any need to add to it. And I, gu I guess that's kind of the attitude that I, and maybe some of you are going with for this year. Anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Have you guys ever done a Richard Lorenz diamond painting? Please share down in the comments below. I'm dying to just sort of get an opinion on what it's like to work with his paintings and what the finished product looks like. I would love to hear from you. So if you'd be so kind as to leave me those comments, I would appreciate it big time. And then also, are you joining the Smashdown, the 2024 Smashdown? I or stash down, sorry, the 2024 stash down. I hope that you do. Um, I would love to see you there and I can't wait to see all the phases that I'm going to meet there. But until then, I'm going to leave it there. Bye. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, enjoying like whatever little bit of warm weather we're getting. I'm not sure how long it's here to stay, but I'm taking every minute of it. And until the next video, I will catch you guys all later. Bye.